The news of that American soldier accused of putting on his night vision goggles and then methodically going door to door, killing children and families in their homes in Afghanistan. It is a slaughter that threatens the already fragile future there. And tonight we are learning more about who he is. But we begin with ABC's Nick Schifrin in Kabul, an exclusive new viewed video from that village in shock. Americans and Afghans agree on this much. This crime was unforgivable. It was a methodical massacre. 16 civilians, including nine children, most shot through the head, their bodies wrapped in blankets and burned. Are these children Taliban, asked this woman? Is this two-year-old a Taliban? The shooter, identified as a 38-year-old staff sergeant, slipped away from his base at 2 a.m., armed with at least two weapons. He walked south more than a mile and began stalking door to door. He entered the first house wearing night vision goggles. In the dark, he killed four Afghans. Then he shot this boy. I jumped under the bed, and that's when he fired at me, he says, telling his story over the phone to President Karzai. In a second house, the shooter killed a daughter, mother, and grandmother, then gathered up four little boys and four little girls and killed every one. Eleven dead in one family. You wiped out entire generations, he says. The shooter stopped one last time to kill an unarmed man. Then he calmly returned to his base and turned himself in. It was all over in less than an hour and a half. Like many, this man was so shocked he couldn't speak. The U.S. had actually been winning here. The locals were being won over. But now, two months after Marines urinated on Taliban corpses, Three weeks after Americans burn Qurans, that trust and support has vanished. The Americans are our enemy, he says, and they will remain our enemy. How do you move forward at this point trying to regain that trust? Killing innocent civilians in their sleep uh, is unforgivable, but we have to look at to what were the circumstances. But there are no circumstances that can explain away these murders. And tonight, Diane, there's fear the anger will spread and that people who have been supporting the U.S. in Kandahar could turn to the Taliban. All right, Nick, thank you. And as you know, officials have been up all night in the United States worried about the repercussions. At the U.N., Secretary of State Hillary Clinton seemed to be groping for words. This was a terrible, awful, I can't even imagine uh, the uh, impact on the families. And President Obama phoned Afghan President Hamid Karzai in the middle of the night there in Afghanistan, so eager to express his condolences. And today, President Obama said, despite these tragic events, America should not, quote, rush for the exits in Afghanistan.